had bells in here since the tower was built in about 500 years ago, I think, or 600 years ago. Uh, the number of bells would have increased. So we started off probably with three or four bells until we get to about the 1700s when Bilby installed a ring of uh, six bells. So this was around 1735 and we still got one of those bells uh, and the replacement on 1811 for the Bilby, of course, for most people it will hopefully have heard of Bilby, who was uh, a cast of bells in Chew Stoke. And the last time the bells were properly looked at was an increase to eight bells in 1928. And there are pictures of the bells being taken up to London on horse and cart. And they'd have gone to Temple Meads, up on the train, then back again. And those are the bells that we now have. Probably it's about three and a half thousand kilograms uh, of metal swinging around up there. I think it was three and a half tons. The heaviest bell is 2,800 weight. For those who deal in 100 weights, what's that, 1,400 kilograms? Quite a lot of weight moving around. Uh, and when you're ringing the bell, you can actually feel the tower moving. It actually does sway from side to side. And I know quite a few people who have been very uncomfortable about that. As you can imagine, after 90 years, um, it's over 90 years, you get wear and tear. So the wear in particular is where the clapper inside the bell strikes the sides of the bell like this when it's actually f fully rotating and you get a, gradually get an indentation. And if that indentation exceeds about 10% of the thickness of the bronze of the bell, um, then that is leading to a high risk of it cracking. So what you do is you actually rotate the bell to however many degrees, which is obviously a big job because you've got to lift it, change the headstock on it, and put all the fittings back together. We want to take out the bilby bells, the two bilby bells, and we have to take out two other bells to be able to get at those. The reason for taking the bilby bells out is that we want to put on what's called a cannon retaining headstock, which is a specially shaped headstock around the cannons, the crown effect on the top of the bell, and we have to retain them. They are historically of interest and we're not allowed to cut them off. The clock itself is, um, is a Bristol clock, Kemp's of Bristol, and that was installed in about 1904. And at the same time as it was installed, it was actually turned into what's called a musical clock. And it triggers a very large mechanism, very heavy mechanism, and it plays hymn tunes. It's called a carillon. And it has little pegs on it, and it lifts levers to strike the hammers on the bells through a system of wires connecting everything. And that has started to deteriorate significantly to the extent that we actually had to turn it off. Uh, but the carillon will be completely stripped down, will be moved, because the front four bells out of our eight will be coming out of the tower. So they will actually come down past me here, down to the ground below. There's a large set of trap doors running all the way down and the four bells will go out that way. The, the total cost is about £50,000. Um, and uh, we've had uh, a lot of donations. We have got a couple of um, quite good grants, particularly one from the diocese. Um, and also uh, the Friends of St Andrews, they've been, they've been very good, but we're still short. I think we're probably about 14, 15,000 pounds short in terms of actually fundraising all the money to cover that cost so that we're not having an impact on church funds and on the Friends funds. Um, yeah, so hopefully we'll get some more donations coming in. I think the bells will be out into the churchyard, probably fairly briefly, but if people are interested in looking at bells, uh, they will actually be out of the churchyard, very reminiscent of all those lovely old pictures which are behind me, where, what is it, 100 years ago, the villagers actually looked at them and patted them. So encourage people to come and have a look, ask, um, see what's happening, uh, and maybe help us with the funding as well.